Hi, it's Ms. Hall. And hey, Ms. Nelson. And today we're finishing up that big um, foldable that we started on similarity, and we're talking about scale factor. Okay, so if you fold or if you lift up the last two pages in your foldable, um, that is where we are right now in our foldable. Okay, um, what you have up there on the top is just vocab words. So make sure you get a highlighter and you go through and highlight all these words. Okay, these are important. Um, many of them were on your vocab that you got and these are things that you need to know because if you do not know them, whenever you read problems, they are not going to make sense. You are not gonna know, okay, am I supposed to multiply, divide? You're not gonna know if you're getting big or smaller. So you need to make sure we pay attention to that, okay? So we're gonna get into the first problem. It says, find the scale factor. Now, definition, a scale factor is the ratio used to enlarge or reduce similar figures. So basically put, it is the number that you are multiplying by to get bigger or to get smaller um, of an item. So from a blueprint to a real house, obviously you're getting bigger, but from a car down to a model figure of it, you're getting smaller, okay? So I'm gonna write a couple of notes real quick and just when you write them down and this just helps you remember them. If you are going big to small, your scale factor is less than one. Okay? And if you're going small to big, your scale factor is greater than one. Okay, and you'll see what I'm talking about in just a minute. But those are your general rules of the type of number you were multiplying by. And your numbers can be decimals or fractions. So you've got to remember your decimal fraction. All right, so it says find the scale factor. Now, this problem does not specify if we are going big to small or small to big. So I'm going to do both. Please note, though, that whenever you have a problem, your problem should always tell you what you're going to um, change from. That way you know if it's going to be greater than or less than one. So if I'm going to a race car to my model, okay, I'm going from big to small. So whenever we do scale factor, something good to remember is new over old, okay? Because a lot of the times you're going to be asked to find the scale factor and the only way to do that is to use the two numbers that they give you. So if I am going to a model, my model is new, so I'm going to use the length right here, and it doesn't matter if you use the length or the height, you're going to get the same answer. So my model would be the new, because that's what I'm going to, and the race car would be my old. So my new is 11, and my old is 132. So now I just need to simplify this fraction. I would divide them both by 11, and that gives me 1 12. So my scale factor, if I am going big to small in this situation with my race car and my model, is 1 12. If I change it and I want to flip the order and go small to big, okay, I'm going to flip the order. So this now becomes my new and this becomes my old. So I get 132 on top over 11 when I divide. 11 goes into 132 once. And then I have twice. So my scale factor from small to big is 12. Okay, so next example. A photograph of Renee McGrath's painting, The Schoolmaster, has dimensions of 5.4 centimeters and 4 centimeters. The scale factor is 1 to 15. Find the size of the actual painting. So in this case, we're going from the small, right, to the large. And if you remember, back uh, up when we were talking about, uh, Ms. Nelson was talking about when you do that, we know that we're going from small to big. So our scale factor is going to be greater than one. So we're going to actually multiply by the reciprocal of 115 in order to get our dimensions. So first I'm going to do um, 5.4, I guess that's our length, times 15. Right? 
27, 4, 5, centimeters. So the length is 81 centimeters. Now we're going to find the width, which is just 4 times 15. And that is 60. So our painting is, uh, uh, the dimensions of the painting is 81 centimeters by 60 centimeters. Remember, ask yourself if you're going from the small to the large or the large to the small. Okay, I'm going to erase this so we can read our next problem. Okay, our next question says, on an Apple Florida, the distance between Halea and Tampa is 10.5 centimeters. The map scale is 3 centimeters. It is equivalent to 128 kilometers. What is the actual distance between the two cities? Okay, so this is unique in that it gives us a scale, okay? So whenever they give us a scale and they give us one of the dimensions, you are looking for one of the other dimensions. So the easiest thing to do is to set up um, your proportion box or just say proportion with labels um, that you're going to do. And I'm going to do my scale is going to be over here on the right. So my scale is going to be my centimeters my kilometers okay and then that means that I now know where I'm gonna put my other my numbers because I have a 10.5 and it is centimeters okay so I'm gonna go ahead and put the 3 and the 128 I know that the 10.5 is gonna go on top because it is centimeters which means X goes on the bottom okay so we're going to cross multiply these two. So obviously that gives us 3x equals, and I'm going to have to come over here and multiply my 10.5 by 928. It does not matter which one you set up on top because they are both three digits. Two placeholders now because I'm going to the third number. I have one decimal place, so one decimal place. So I get 1,344. So I'm going to divide by size by three. That crosses that out. So 1,344 divided by three. So three doesn't go into one. Three goes into 13 four times. One left over, bring in that four. Three goes into 14 four times, which is 12. Two left over, bring in that four. And it goes 8. So x equals 448. Now for your label, my x was over here in my kilometer. So it is kilometers. Okay. So if you have questions, please come prepared with um, the next class period. That way we can make sure that you guys understand this. Bye. Bye.